this is X Shell, a next level Valent desktop experience featuring dynamic island animations for Linux users. It's built on Fabric, optimized for Valent compositors like Hyperland. In today's video, I will show you how to set up Arch Linux with X Shell. And thanks to developer, the entire installation process is fully automated. Now let's start by installing X Shell along with its dot files on Arch Linux. Now keep in mind this guide also works on Nix OS. Now for this demonstration, I will be using Arch Linux, which is perfect for tinkering and customization. Now first, make sure you have a fresh installation of Arch Linux with Hyperlint working perfectly on your PC or laptop. You can use the Arch install script to set up Arch Linux on your system. In my case, I already have Arch Linux with Hyperlint installed. I have made a separate video explaining how to install Arch and I will leave a link to that video in the description. Before installing X Shell, make sure you have at least 8 GB of free space available on your system. The first thing to do after installing Arch Linux is to connect to the internet. To do this, open terminal by pressing super plus Q. Next, type sudo nmtui and press enter. Now use the arrow keys to select activate connection then press enter again. Now find your Wi-Fi network from the list and connect to the network. The next thing after connecting to the internet is to update the system and install the required dependencies. Type this command and press enter. Now it's time to set up a pre-configured Hyperland environment using an installer script created by Maverick Developer. Now press super plus C to quit the terminal, then press super plus R to open app launcher. Now search for Firefox and open it. Next, go to official website to learn more about this setup. You will find the latest X shell dot files, which brings a beautiful material inspired theme for valent compositors like Hyperlint. I recommend reading the instructions carefully and going through the entire page. After that, look for the arch section. Now go ahead and copy this command, then press super plus number two to switch to another workspace and press super plus Q to open the terminal, then paste the command and press enter to start setting up X shell. Then go ahead and follow the on-screen instructions. If you are asked for your password, enter it. Now sit back and wait patiently while the script is running in the background. Once the setup is complete, you will see the X settings window. Now go ahead and remove any unnecessary key bindings, then click apply. When you are done, it's recommended to restart your computer to apply all the changes. Now from the STDM Login Manager, select the Hyperlin session from the top left corner, then enter your password to login. After successful login, you will be greeted with the Hyperlin welcome screen. Now this is the next level shell experience on Hyperlin featuring smooth dynamic island animations. The first thing you should do after setting up X shell 
is to fix the startup warning. To do this, open the terminal by pressing super plus Q, then type this command to edit the hyperlint config file. Next, find the line mentioned in the warning message and add a hashtag at the beginning of that line to disable it and remove the warning. Finally, save your changes by pressing Ctrl plus O, then press Enter to confirm. If you are using a laptop or external monitor, you might notice that the UI is scaled to 200%. You can fix this by modifying this statement. This last argument controls the display scaling. If you set to auto, it will adjust the scaling automatically. If you set to 1, it will reduce the scaling so the UI fits properly. Once you have made the changes, press Ctrl plus O, then Enter to save them. Next, let's adjust some of the default hyperlint key bindings that may conflict with X shell. Now go ahead and comment out this line that launches the OFI app launcher, which is not needed. Then change the key bindings for opening terminal and closing windows. I prefer using super plus T to open the terminal and super plus Q to close active windows. After making these changes, save the file. Now your new key bindings should work perfectly. Now let's increase the font size in the kitty terminal. Now type this command to edit the kitty config file and add this statement to set the font size to 22 points and save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O, hit enter, then press Ctrl plus X to exit the editor. Next, close terminal by pressing super plus Q and reopen it by pressing super plus T. You should now see the increased font size. Now click your mouse at the top center of the screen to open control center or dashboard. It looks very similar to Dynamic Island on a Mac. The control center has five sections, widgets, pins, Kanban, wallpapers, and mixer. The widget section shows the time, date, system toggles, notifications, and media controls. The pin section lets you add quick shortcuts for easy access. The Kanban section allows you to create and manage your to do list. The wallpaper section makes it very easy to switch between wallpapers. You can also add your own collection of wallpapers over here and adjust the system accent colors. And the mixer section lets you view and control your audio input and output in real time. Now let's open X settings. Press super plus R to open app launcher. Then click settings gear icon. Now from here, you can modify the default key bindings and adjust various apparent settings to customize the user interface. You can also set the default wallpaper directory and control different layout options. For instance, you can choose to show up the dock at the bottom, change the top bar position, and select different themes for the dock and panel. Additionally, you can toggle which modules are visible on the top bar. Once you have made your changes, click Apply and Reload to see the updates. 
One of the coolest features of Axe Shell is that it can emulate the behavior of Dynamic Island. For example, when you click the power button on the top bar, the controls appear in the center of the workspace. The same happens with the Control Center, App Launcher, and even when you press Super plus S, which brings up the screen recording and screenshot controls, the animations look very smooth and really impressive. Now by far, this is one of the best top bars I have ever used. On the top left of the screen, you will find the app launcher icon. By tapping it will display all the installed apps and allows you to search for any installed application, making it the quickest and easiest way to launch apps on your system. Now let's talk about the workspaces. On the top bar, you will see the workspace switcher. Using this, you can simply switch between workspaces. You can also use a keyboard shortcut by pressing super plus a number from 0 to 9 to seamlessly switch between different workspaces. Now let's add some custom app shortcuts. Now simply open terminal and navigate to the default keybinding config file. Let's add custom keybindings for any application you want. Now in this example, we will add a shortcut to open the Chrome web browser. We will assign super plus x as the keybind. Now once you have added the new key binding, save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O, then exit the editor with Ctrl plus X. Now pressing Super plus X will instantly launch the Chrome web browser. Overall, X Shell with dynamic island animations provides an impeccable Hyperland experience. And that's all for this video on installing and customizing Hyperlint on Arch. So what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Ryo. I will see you in the next one.